Hello, in this video, you will learn what is cloud computing architecture. Cloud computing architecture is divided into two parts that is, the front end of the cloud and back end of the cloud. Both front end and back end are connected with each other through internet or you can say network or virtual network. So, we have front end and back end in the cloud computing architecture. You can see in the diagram the front end this is the front end and this is the back end both front end and back end are connected with each other through internet in the front end we have client interface in the back end we have application services runtime cloud storage infrastructure management and security as in the applications we will see different types of applications provided by cloud to the end users that they can access. Then we have different type of services like infrastructure, software, platform. Then we have runtime cloud. Then we have different storage services that are provided to the end users on the cloud. Different storage devices where users can store their data. Then we have infrastructure. As you know, this is virtual. On the internet, everything is provided on the cloud. So this is virtual. So here they will also provide the infrastructure like both the hardware and the software requirement is covered in the infrastructure. Then we have management, all the, how the cloud will manage all this. Then we need security for the protection of the system and data. Now we have front end. Front end means how user will interact with the infrastructure. That is the visual to the clients or you can say computer users that are willing to access the cloud so front end is visible to the end users and front end consists of different application and infrastructure that is used to access different cloud computing platforms now we have it include web servers like chrome firefox Internet Explorer for example Gmail this is the web application as front-end architecture and you know how you can access Gmail and user can access different services that Gmail offers now we have backend of the cloud and it is maintained by different cloud service providers for example we have Amazon web services this is the cloud service provider Backend means the area behind the screen and backend is managed by host only and backend supports front end. You can see here now backend manage different services like data storage, virtual network, security system, traffic control and the different protocols that are used for the communication over the internet on the cloud. All this is managed in the backend of the cloud. Now we will discuss what is client interface, application, services, and time storage, management, and security. Cloud inter client interface provides graphical user interface that help users to connect with the cloud so that they can perform different tasks on the cloud. In the internet, you can say internet is used. It is the medium through which front-end and back-end can communicate and using internet entire cloud is connected application this is the back-end architecture component and application can be platform or software that client want to access then we have different services that are provided on the cloud like software as a service platform as a service and infrastructure as a service this is also known as SPI that is software platform infrastructure framework for cloud computing that we will cover in the different video now we have runtime cloud that is where services run done it provides runtime environment for virtual machines and on the same server multiple runtimes can exist for the stories stories means all the data that is required to manage the cloud is resides and different services offered here like 
solid state devices and hard drives infrastructure provide services at host level application level and network level it includes all the hardware and the software components that are required like server storage network and virtualization and it also includes cpu and the motherboard then we have management management means how they will handle the several component at the back end of the cloud and it allocates and how they will allocate right resources for the specific task according to the user's requirement so all this is managed at the back end now we have security as you all know why we need security to prevent data from loss to protect the system from various attacks and to keep that are safe from the attacker so this is a backend component and handled in the backend of the cloud computing architectures now we have popular cloud computing service providers like microsoft azure amazon web services ibm cloud salesforce oracle vmware and the google cloud so that's all about this video that is the architecture of the cloud computing here we have front end and back end. Both front end and back end are connected with each other through internet. And you can see the different components in the back end, and they, we have different components in the front end. So that's all about this video. If you have any question, you can comment below. And thanks for watching this video.